Alright, so this will be part two of my Splinter Cell Pandora Tomorrow Any% percent tutorial. Uh, with this video, we'll be taking a look at the second mission of the game, which is the Cryogenics Lab, or Paris, France, in the menu here. Okay. So first off, you want to... Oh, yeah. yeah, quick save, quick look through this dialogue first. Just so I can explain things without being distracted. Okay, so right away you want to go into the weapon menu here and then move the cursor over to smoke grenades and then left click. That will select the uh, gas grenade gadget for the SE20K which will come into handy a bit later with some guards we'll have to deal with. Alright, and then right out of the gate there's this hole you want to go down. There's two ways you can go about doing this. Uh, first method is to just roll into the hole like that. You do take a bit of damage from that though, so if you're worried about not having as much health for later portions of the mission, you can just go down the top of the ladder, and then without going any further down, uh, press crouch to drop off the ladder, then press crouch again while you're falling, so you'll do a soft landing there when you get to the bottom and you won't take any damage. Either way, you want to go down that ladder, then go over here. There's a guard around this corner that you're gonna have to deal with. There's two methods you can use to deal with them. First, you can just headshot him without waiting. But what you can do, in case you're worried about getting seen by the guard and getting an alarm pulled on you, is trigger the train, go back into the siding spot, wait until the train passes, and then shoot the guard. Notice that his body is in bright light right now. Uh, you don't have to worry about that because of a bit of tech that you'll see coming up. But for now, don't worry about it. Just continue on with the mission. Go to round right here at this third light. Once you get to this point, you want to bring out the SC20K, scope, and then scroll in three times. So one, two, three. Or rather, uh, scroll up twice, get the, go to the maximum uh, zoom in length on the scope, alt fire to focus the C20K, and then shoot this light. You want to shoot at that light because we're going to come up to a couple of guards once we get past that little shadow right there. Uh, once we get past that shadow, two guards are going to spawn, and if you don't shoot at that light, they will see you. So you want to shoot out that light so they don't see you as you run up to them. Anyways, run up to the guards and you basically want to spray shots into their body to kill them like that. If you're, uns if you're unsure about being able to shoot them in the body like that, uh, you can just shoot them with headshots with the red laser sight from the pistol. Just like that. Either way, you want to kill those two guards. You want to switch to the SC20K, switch to the pistol, scope, zoom in twice, shoot down the spring core, and then quick save and immediately after that quick load. So what I just did there is a piece of speed tech. It's weird how the train is still going there. I think I might have just got a sound glitch, but anyway. Uh, what I just did there was a bit of speed tech that you'll see me do, that you'll be doing throughout the rest of the run. Uh, it's something called body check skipping. I have no idea what the sound glitch is. Let me turn down the sound a bit. <laughs> That's a new one. I've never had that happen before, but anyway. How body check skips work is this game has a system where if you leave a body in bright light, or rather if you when you kill a guard and you leave the room you killed the guard in, the game checks in that room to see if there's any bodies, and if it just so happens to find a body, and that body is in bright light, the game will trigger an alarm automatically. But for whatever reason, I'm not exactly sure what, uh, saving and loading gets rid of those body check triggers. 
So basically for the rest of the run from this mission onwards, there are specific points that I'll mention during each video in each mission uh, where you want to do a little quick save, quick load to do these buy check skips so you don't get as, so you don't get alarms. The general rule with buy check skips is you want to do them right after you kill a group of guards just to be sure their bodies don't get found. Oh, it's really weird how I'm getting that sound glitch. You know what, just to be safe with the sound glitch, I'm going to restart the mission. Cause I don't want that to I don't want that to play for the duration of the mission. Give me a second. Welcome to Paris. You'll have time for sightseeing later. But we don't know why, when he was, or who he is. Is he still inside? Hard to say. The man's cover is rock solid. Are you saying he's CIA? If he is, he's done a deeper cover than I've ever seen. We've got intel linking him to at least a dozen. Okay, there we go. Now we don't have the sound glitch. Alright, so anyways, uh, once you shoot down the sprinkler and you do the buy check skip, run over here to this store. There's two ways you can go through here. Uh, the easiest method is to uh, shoot out this light, run through here, roll through that hole, crawl through this hole and then walk over to the store. What you can do however is just run through this room and headshot this guard. Either way you want to get to that door at the end of the hall there. Or at the end of the room rather. If you get an alarm that's fine, don't worry about it. Just continue on. And you wanna switch to the SC20K. Just run through this room. Uh, just run through the middle of these desks to avoid being seen by the guards. You want to go through the room quickly though, otherwise you will get caught. Uh, go to this room right here. Lockpick the door. It's S, D, and then S. Alright, so in this next room... There's a few guards you're gonna have to deal with. There's a few ways you can, a couple of ways you can go about doing this. What I do in my runs and was probably the riskier method is I clip the gas grenade, shoot it in the room, and just hope and pray that I don't get shot. In that case, that was unlucky. They didn't get completely stunned by the gas grenade. Just run through the room, and you're out of there. What you can do instead, if you're not comfortable with that method, is just to shoot the guards down. Just like that. I'll attempt it again. Just to show you what it looks like. Alright, you want to equip the SC-20K. Whoa, rather, once you get out of that room, go over here to this window. Equip the SC-20K, shoot the window, headshot that guy, scope, zoom in twice, and then headshot that guard. Quick save, quick load for a buy check skip so their buys don't get found. And then interact with this computer, and we'll get a little unskippable dialogue sequence here. You don't want to quick save, quick load past this dialogue, because if you do, you'll get stuck at the computer for 
a few seconds, which wastes time. Once that line is done, you'll gain control, so start running out of the room. Uh, there's two methods you can use for going through this room. First, that I use my runs is I headshot this guard, and over here, equip the pistol, and headshot this guard. And stop, and then uh, cut the wires to the bomb. What you can do instead, though, is shoot out the slight so the guards don't see you. And then headshot this guard, and then kill this guard. I recommend the first method as it's a little easier. But both methods are pretty easy, but I personally recommend the first one that I showed you, where you snipe this guy and then headshot this guy with a pistol. Either way, you want to go into this room to to stop the bomb, and run over here and open this door, and that will lead you to the next checkpoint. Alright. Run up the stairs. Once you get to right here, you want to go at the slowest walking speed possible because there's a motion detector right there. And if you run past it, you'll trigger an alarm. So you want to be at the slowest walking speed possible. Or... Yeah, around right there works. Basically, just... As a precaution, go at the slowest walking speed possible. I believe you can go like one notch above lowest speed. Yeah, one notch above lowest speed or the lowest speed. Either way, you want to just walk around that motion sensor. Once you're on these stairs, you're good. You can go back to full running speed. Shoot the slide out so the guards don't see you. Um, Personally, I use the pistol, although you can also use the SC-20K scope. Either way, I want to shoot out the slight. Scroll through the menu to get the disposable pick. Then press fire to lockpick the door. Go in this room. There's a computer directly to your right, which you want to interact with. And then you immediately want to, and then you want to immediately leave the room. We have our first keypad code of the run. A pro tip that I have for these keypads is uh, you can enter the code for the keypad with the keypad keys on your keyboard, which is done by pressing numlock and then pressing the keys on the keyboard. Uh, so for example, I'll type in this code, which is 2457. You can't really see it on the input display, but just keep that in mind. It's really useful for putting in the keypad codes quickly. Alternatively, you can use the number keys that are above the, that are on the main part of the keyboard that are above the letter keys. But I personally recommend using the keypad keys instead. Anyway, you want to go into this room. Then uh, shoot out this window. And then shoot and then headshot that guy with the red laser sight. So in this room, it's fine if you get an alarm, so just run through the room and take tank the alarm. You want to shoot out this camera. If you're uncomfortable with shooting the camera, you can shoot out the lights instead. It's a little slower shooting out the lights, but it's generally better, or, or rather easier for newer players who might have trouble aiming accurately. You want to shoot out those lights on the top of the stairs too, if you choose to do this method. I'm inside the client storage database. I'm tapped. Taking a look, seeing. I see at least eight clients mortified penguin pulled up in detail. Right? So there's that. Alternatively, you want to shoot the camera. If you're unconfident about. If you're not confident with shooting the camera from far away, what you can do is shoot out the lights like I showed you with the other method, then run up close to the camera like this, and then shoot the camera like that from the top of the stairs here. Makes it a lot easier to aim at the camera to shoot it. There is a landmine, or rather wall mine right there, but you don't have to worry about it. You can just walk right past it. I won't 
Alright. Either way, you want to run up the stairs. Go to the top here. You don't have to worry about uh, quick saving and quick loading to get Pat to do a buy check skip there because the alarm level will automatically go down to zero once you get to the top of the stairs here. So unlike in some of the previous streams I've showed you, uh, you don't actually have to do a buy check skip in that little bit after killing the guards. Alright, and then you want to uh, go over to this keypad right here, down this hallway on the left side, or right side rather. And the keypad code for this is 7562. Put on your thermal vision. It helps with seeing in this next little bit because this is what this area would look like if you had the night vision on. But with night vision, but with thermal vision, it's a lot easier to see where you're going. So there's a couple of different strats you can use to get to this room. Uh, first method that I recommend is crouch glitching up to this turret or sneaking up to it while crouched uh, like this. Either works. And then deactivate the turret so it doesn't shoot you. Sneak up to this guard and knock him out. Alternatively, alternatively, what you can do, and this is something I do in my runs as well, is go up here next to this little canister right here, pull out your pistol, enable the red laser sight, and then shoot the guy until he's dead. And then run by the turret. And if you run close enough to the turret, like I did just there, you will not take any damage at all from the turret, which is really useful. And then you want to lockpick this door. The pattern for this door is DWAD. Cycle through your inventory to bring up the SC20K. Bring up the SC20K, zoom in twice with the scope. Headshot this guy. And headshot that second guard. Cycle through your inventory to bring up the frag grenade. Because we're going to use it for a neat little trick here coming up. So there's two methods you can use for getting through this last bit. Uh, one is the intended method, which is pretty easy and consistent. Uh, the other method that I'll be showing you here uh, is something that's been used in segmented runs before. And I, me and other top runners have started implementing it in runs for or have implemented in runs as of a few months ago. But how it works is, uh, I'll show you the intended method first. So the intended method is you just jump up here on top of that bookshelf, or shelf of stuff, rather, and let this cutscene play out, and climb up into the vent, ignore these guards that are on the walkway below me, we'll take care of them later, initiate the or actually I want to make a quick save anyways like I said I made a save right there by the way because I'm gonna show you another strat and as part of showing this first strat I'm gonna end up quick saving and quick loading so I wouldn't have a quick save to revert back to you to show you this section again anyway either way you wanna or rather you want to go down here I have to Francois Codebuff here and start the conversation. Like with all of the conversations in the game, you want to lightly mash spacebar or enter to go through the conversation. And then quick save, click load over and over like you're seeing me do in my input display in order to get through this conversation. Climb up here. You'll notice that they're putting some explosive barrels up in front of the door. You want to shoot those barrels in order to kill the guards. Quits definitely, or unfortunately, that also ends up killing Coda Buff. But you've already done the conversation with them, so you've already completed the objective that you need to. So yeah, there's the first strap for going through that room. Second strat that I'll show you here it involves a grenade that I suggested you equip before you get in this vent. You want to throw it into this vent to 
break open the air conditioning, which knocks out the guards that are in the walkway below me when you, below you when you go through the air duct. The tricky thing with it is if you throw it at the wrong angle, let's say this way. Uh, whoops. I'm trying to show you what happens if it goes wrong. Getting a quick save. Here we go. I think that angle will get the outcome I want. So that's what happens if you throw it at the wrong angle. It'll prematurely explode the whole hallway, and that'll kill Kodaba before you go through the conversation with him. So the angle you want to take is uh, basically a consistent way to line it up for beginners. If you're new, is walk into this desk until you can't, until you butt bump against it. Ha obviously, have the frag grenade out. Throw it at around this. Or actually, yeah. yeah, like I said, bump yourself against the desk. Turn the camera down until Sam and move forward like this until Sam's foot is halfway between that bottom right bottom left tile and top left tile and then aim your camera around this direction that should work and then throw the grenade oh, okay well basically you want to stand right around here throw the frag grenade at this angle this one should work Pff, all of a sudden it's not working There we go. So basically, we want to stand right around here. Uh, the angle for this is pretty lenient, although obviously you don't want to throw it too far left here. Otherwise, you'll end up exploding the hallway and kill Code Buff. Right around this angle should be good. There we go. Like I said, that breaks open the air conditioning, which knocks out the guards. And that ends up saving a decent chunk of time because, as you saw when I showed you the first strat, there's two cutscenes that play. One where they try to shoot, where the guards try to shoot open the door to Coda Buff's room. And another cutscene after you do the conversation with Coda Buff where they prep some explosive barrels. By knocking out those guards, those cutscenes don't play. Which I say, I believe saves around 30 to 40 seconds. And just climb through this air vent to Code Buff's room, like you did with the previous strat. Don't hurt me, please. I'm just and initiate the conversation with Code Buff. And click save, click load through this dialogue. Climb through this vent right here, like you did before. Run up to the van here, and that's the end of the mission. Alright, that's part two of the tutorial, and the next part, I'll... We'll be doing the train mission. See you then.